Oh, that's a lovely dog. Oh, it's your sister. Oh, it's your sister. T. G. Abercrombie, architect. Arts and Crafts, asymmetrical villa. One and two storey with three storey tower. Harl red sandstone dressings, half timbering. Variety of glazing, including casements, mullion, and transom, and bracketed timber, oriel. Okay, everybody, I know we have a few strange bitches in this group, so um, if anyone's got any questions, let me know. My name's Craig, right? Thank you. North Front has advanced off centre half timbered barred boarded gable with square tower in re entrant angle to left. The window is nailed and bordered through which I saw the west. And my love is the burn of holly, a birch tree. Aye, ask me directly. Half timbered porch at front of tower, million and transom window to first floor and half-timbered second floor capped by finial wide-eaved pyramidal roof. I mean, Andy, if there's anything you want to know about that, you can just ask me directly. Ha, me, or Baron. South Elevation has circled southeast corner with conical roof and advanced half-timbered barbed boarded gable to southwest, linked by veranda and four timber Tuscan columns and balustrade swept dormer over barge boarded gables. Okay, cool. So maybe we just split up in the pairs and see what we're thinking. Cool, yeah. Half timbered elevation barge boarded gable to east elevation. West elevation has barge boarded gable swept dormer in re entrant angle to south and single story offices with P ended roof. Honestly, oh, call me a caricature, but I really heard a really interesting thing on BBC Radio 3. And it was an essay. It's on at quarter to eleven every night. Or every weeknight. Red roof and ridge tiles to all. Harold stacks with ashlar bands and cornices. Intricate to plan single-story conservatory attached to southwest of house. I remember when a fred zone was a lot cheaper than it is now. I know. Chimney pieces and panelling survive inside, including fine Inglenook dining room with two Tuscan columns. <laughs>